Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how to install IntelliPause into a subdomain. For this, at first, we need to create a subdomain. So let's go to our hosting panel and uh, click on subdomains. So here, we need to give the name of our subdomain. I named it pause okay in the document root section we need to add slash public after our subdomain name and this is very important let's click on create button And our subdomain has been created okay the document root is public underscore HTML slash pause slash public now if we go to the public underscore HTML directory we see that a folder has created name pause okay let's go to file manager click on public underscore HTML and here our subdomain is created and a folder folder named pause has already created and inside the pause a public folder is created now we need to upload the files the zip file we already download from the code canyon that is our Intelli pause and we need to upload the file here upload select file and this is the file that we already download from Code Canyon. Okay, the G file is starting to upload, and we need to wait until the upload has finished. So, the upload upload has completed. Let's click on Go Back. So here we see the zip file has been uploaded now we need to delete this public folder because in this zip file there is a public folder okay let's delete this folder and now we need to extract this zip here extract extract files file has been extracted now we need to refresh this page public underscore HTML pause and here you see the G file is extracted okay now in the URL we type our subdomain name So this is our license verification window and we need to put our code canyon purchase code over here and click on verify and IntelliPause will license for you. And now I am going to pause this video for a while and verify my installation. Once I have verified my installation, I will be redirect to the installer page. Okay. So this is our installer page. Now we need to click on the check requirements button. This check requirements button and uh, the window show us if our server is ready to run IntelliPause. Any server that will capable to run Laravel 5.5 is capable to run IntelliPause. The minimum PHP version required 7.1.0 because Laravel 5.5 require at least PHP 7.0. Let's click on the check permission button. 
Laravel needs a storage slash framework, a storage slash logs, and a bootstrap slash cache. These folders to be writable by the application. So the installer is checking if our directory permission is correct. Next, click on configure environment button. And here we can change our application name and we can also change our app URL to our subdomain name. Let's click on setup database button. In this window, we are going to configure our MySQL or whatever database we are using. In our case, we are using MySQL. The host is correctly configured and this is the default database port. Before clicking on install and proceeding to next step, we would want to make sure that this database is already created. To do this, we are going to PHP MyAdmin and create a database named inventory. Okay. Let's go to MySQL databases. Let's create a new database named inventory. Okay. Create database. database is created copy this my database name is fair and care inventory and now I need to create a user so here I need to create a user generate a password and create user so a new user is created I just copy it and put it here let's go back and give all the privilege to this user to our database add user to database let's click on add click all privileges and make changes okay now I click on install button We are waiting uh, for installation to finish. The application has been successfully installed and the application give us the login username and password. Save it in somewhere else and click here to exit. This will redirect us to the backend. Let's log in to the backend. We are going to use the username and password we got after the installation. Let's click on sign in button. And this is our dashboard. So this is all from uh, this is the installation process if we want to uh, run Italy pause into a subdomain. Thank you.